Right, moving on to repetition. Now, once again, I'm not quite understanding here, but I'll do my best. Marlon, Marlon, this is you. Is it effective to use repeated words or phrases in a poem? And then you've said to give two or more meanings. I'm not sure about the two or more meanings. So why do we use repetition? Now, in good writing, and I want to emphasize good writing, repetition is extremely effective. But please don't say it's effective because it emphasizes. I always tell the story of a few years ago, I said to, to my matrix after the June exams, you cannot say that the repetition in this poem or the repetition in Hamlet or the repetition in my children, my Africa, why, my, my, you can't just say it emphasizes. You've got to tell me what it's emphasizing. So after prelims, they wrote, it emphasizes the point. I need to know what that point is. So yes, you can say it's emphasizing, but I want to know what is it emphasizing? So since I've mentioned my children, my Africa, could we just do the my? My children, my Africa. What is he emphasizing? That he feels deeply attached to the continent and to the children of Africa that he feels in some way they belong to him. And I'm not seeing this as possessive. It's not my jewels, my money, my tender, my whatever. But that they are, they are mine, that we are one, that he is united with them. And therefore, when they suffer, he suffers also. So do you see, you're not just saying that it is emphasizing, emphasizing something. You're saying it is emphasizing both the emotions of Mr. M and his thoughts because he feels that they belong to him. He hurts because he feels that they are hurting. All right, so, so Marlon, Marlon, I hope that's, that's helped. So it's, I'm not so sure about two or more meanings. If you say that emphasis enriches meaning, then I know what you're talking about. But bad emphasis, I mean, bad repetition can just be irritating. So I'm talking about good writing. 